I love watching movies. I love discovering new movies, um, you know, rewatching old ones. And this week, Sean has asked me to do one of my very favorite movies, Midsummer. I'm sure you guys saw the disclaimer in the beginning of this video. Um, this movie does deal with some pretty severe topics. So if you're bothered by any of uh, those topics, please click away from this video. I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. That being said, the movie is rated R. This review will be containing some rough content. <laughs> uh, so without further ado, let's get started. As I said, Midsommar is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. If you have watched Sean's 60 Second Synopsis, which I highly recommend, uh, it kind of he kind of gave you a basic rundown of what the movie is about. I want to say uh, from here on out, spoiler alert, because I will be giving away specific things. I have read the full script, I have seen the extended edition, and I own the normal length of the film. And honestly, it's all flawless <laughs> in my opinion. I might be biased. But as I said, it's one of my favorites. The movie starts with the main character, Danny Arter. Her family dies. Her sister kills herself, and along with that, her parents, which leaves Danny kind of alone and in a vulnerable state with her douchebag boyfriend, Christian. Christian is just a horrible human being. <laughs> However, Christian's friends have plans to go to one of his friend's homelands in Sweden. So basically we have Pele, the statuesque Swedish god. I, I love Pele so much. We have Eustace from the Third Chronicles of Narnia, and we have Chidi from The Good Place, which always tripped me out to see. But they're, you know, a group of friends and they all plan on going, and Christian invite Danny to go along with them to kind of pacify her. They go in expecting to be learning about the midsummer traditions and don't expect to be dragged into the middle of basically a murder fest. <laughs> Without giving away too many details, there are several scenes of some pretty intense rituals, including one where a young boy, and this is in the extended cut, but a young boy is almost thrown into a lake wearing like, weighted clothing, shackles, and he has a rock on top of him to appease the gods. There's also, I believe, and I don't want to butcher this, so I apologize if I do, but uh, I believe it's Edenstep or Edenstoop, which is basically a stepping off ritual because they believe in seasons of life, and once you hit a certain age, it's considered the honorable thing to do to kill yourself, which is very intense. And as I said, there are several different rituals that take place in this movie, all of them very intense, um, some of them very graphic. There is of course, the dancing around the maypole, which is such such an intense scene, but for a different reason. It's not graphic, it's almost trippy, which there is a lot of drug use in this movie. Just fair warning, if you have not seen it, there's so much drug use in this movie, but it almost adds to just the psychological mind warp that it puts you in. It makes you feel as if you are engaged in the movie the same way that the characters are. If you watch closely, you see several of the plants and flowers almost pulsating with the heartbeats of the characters. The death scenes, several of them are not actually shown. There are a few where they show like the after effects of them, including a bloody yule, which is very jarring if you're not prepared to see it. But just overall, the the effects in this movie were so well done. And as I said, it just feels like you're part of the movie. And 
this is a huge spoiler. So when Danny becomes May Queen, she is under the influence of a drug and you just kind of see the, the greenery and the flowers around her pulsating with her heartbeat. And as it quickens, they pulsate faster. And it's just an amazing thing to watch her kind of become enveloped in the entire setting. It's a very strong, very powerful moment of her connecting with everything that surrounds her. After she becomes May Queen, they take her out for a ritual of her own. There are several scenes in the movie from the time they arrive in Halsinglan to the point where Danny becomes May Queen where one of the Harga actually is just trying to seduce Christian the whole time and it becomes a very intense game of cat and mouse almost and while Danny is off doing her thing they seduce seduce isn't a good word it really is um date rape but they bring him in for a ritual sex thing oh god it's so awkward please don't watch it with family members <laughs> it all leads up to her making the decision between sacrificing her boyfriend who has kept her down and just been terrible to her and sacrificing the life of someone who was already in the community who was picked randomly and as Sean said a failed Smokey the Bear costume <laughs> they stuff him inside of a bear and she chooses to burn Christian alive and that kind of almost like signifies to me a way of her saying it's time to let go of the things that are holding me back and when everything burns she connects with the Harga in the same way that they all connected in the first place which is almost like a a mind melt sort of situation they all feel each other's pain so i mean it's it's very unclear in the movie what happens after that but i do highly recommend going and watching it if you haven't i really hope that i did this justice like i said it's one of my favorite movies 10 out of 10 recommend be prepared like i said it is pretty graphic if you can watch the extended version definitely watch it but overall, I just, I adore the movie. The effects are done so well. It's such like an intense storyline. It's great. Danny is such a strong and forward character. Towards the end, she really kind of grows into herself and I love to see it. I love characters that have strong growth, even if it's sometimes within toxic environments, strong growth. But yeah, basically, to sum it up, it's a movie about killing the world's shittiest boyfriend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I want to say thank you again to Sean for allowing me to do this little segment. I really enjoyed it. This week's 60 Second Synopsis and Moose's Movie Mondays did coincide. It won't always but it did this week and I really hope that that kind of added a little extra something. If there is a movie that you guys want to see me review, please by all means comment it down below. I would love to watch some movies, maybe some that I haven't seen before. Yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much.